What's up, Fabrication Nation? It is Friday, fool, and you need this tool. working on here like episode 100 that's a lot of freaking episodes I think to celebrate episode 100 y'all should go watch start from the beginning watch every episode I mean I think that's a good idea all right so I'm not gonna sit here and act like I got some super fancy tool for episode 100 I do like this tool a lot but it's not like super fancy or anything. I'm sorry. So a few episodes back I did the DeWalt series, power tools, did the impact driver, I did a, a, I did the 20 volt drill, I think it came with a light, and a Sawzall, which I love. Love all three of those, minus the light, which would be four, but I don't really like a light. But I like the other three, and I felt like I needed to add one more to that. There's one other thing that I didn't have, and I felt like I needed to add it to the collection, and that was the angle grinder. Man, do I love this thing. So as most of you know, with battery technology these days, a lot of your air tools, they're just going away. I mean, there's some stuff that you gotta have as an air tool, in my personal opinion. You know, air tool planishers, plasma cutting, you gotta have air. There's just some things that you gotta have air with. But in my opinion, a drill, an impact driver, and this bad boy are three things that you don't need air with. And as a matter of fact, they're not nearly as noisy, they're more convenient, they go anywhere, and they work great as a battery operated unit versus air powered. I have no idea why I keep saying air. Because it's not just air. No power cables, no extension cords, no generators. I mean, that's just my opinion. I'm sure you guys, some of you guys will agree with me. I love the fact that I can take some of these, throw them in a bag and take them anywhere I want. So that being said, I picked up the angle grinder. Figured this thing would be really useful. I did pick it up in the 20 volt, 60 amp hour series batteries. Um, I looked at buying just this unit. I think it was like 100 bucks. And then I looked at buying another charger and some batteries. Actually, I take that back. I looked at buying just a couple extra batteries. And for the same money, I could get a kit that included this. Two of these 60 amp hour batteries along with an extra charger for about the same money. Can't remember how much it was though. Maybe, maybe under 300 bucks? So anyway, long story short, the thing that's awesome about these is I can use them with these 20 volt, six amp hour batteries, or I can use them with the standard batteries that came with my last kit, or I can interchange them. So I could take these and put it on my big drill, my big impact, whatever it is I want to, I can put this big bad boy on there or just leave it right on here. For those of you that are not familiar with the DeWalt series batteries, and I don't know if other companies have these or not, but you can basically give it a little push. It'll tell you what your battery, battery charge is left in the battery. They all do that, even the big boys. And some of the other brands might do it. And listen, I get so many people they get butt hurt over the brand that I choose because of everything I got is Dewalt. They want to tell me that X brand is so much better, so much cheaper, lasts longer, whatever it is. Listen, I don't have, I'm not fancy on the brand. I don't have an emotional attachment to the brand. For what I do, these things work great. I mean, I don't, I'm not that hard on my tools to begin with, especially not my power tools. You know, I like to finesse things. More of a more of a finesse kind of guy. So that being said, I get it. There's so many brands out there. 
It's like Ford, Chevy, Pontiac. You get all these people that are so specific to each brand. I'm not that guy. I'm not even a Ford guy. I mean, I got the Mustang, I got the Bibster, but I just like cool stuff. I like cool stuff that works. And this here, it just works. So whatever, you got the red one, you got the green one, I got the yellow one, it doesn't matter. All I'm telling you is, you need to get some. So this one is the brushless motor version and it actually has a brake on it so when you as soon as you let off the trigger it stops there's no like waiting for it to stop so you can set it down none of that stuff it also has a very easy to change setup on the front just an allen key will loosen this thing up it's got a little brake on the top so you can basically lock this thing in allen key loosens that bottom piece up you can put new discs on it you can use all your standard what is this a four inch disc Four and a half, yeah, you can use all your standard four and a half inch discs. They work right on this thing, great. All right guys, there you go. The DeWalt, or at least in this particular instance, the DeWalt angle grinder, battery powered angle grinder. If you bought one of the KillFab power tool holders and you're looking to fill that bad boy, this is a good one. As always, I'll put you some links into the description. I'm not saying go buy one. I'm just saying, go check it out. At the very least, Go check it out. Fab Lab video coming tomorrow for you members. All right, guys, as always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more this week. It's Friday, fool.